What are you stacking hard? Gold or silver? Hey everyone, thanks for watching Yankee Stacking. You know, I'm gonna do a really quick video here because I am actually getting ready uh, for a collaboration with the one and only another overtax taxpayer. I mean, <laughs> most of you watching this video right now know who I'm talking about. He is a, a wonderful stacker, uh, a really uh, amazing YouTuber. Um, Frankly, he, he's been a huge influence on me uh, going all the way back to 2018 when I really started uh, stacking heavily. And, uh, you know, I just, I really think the world of him. In fact, I'm going to, I'll put his uh, channel link in the description if for some reason you don't know who I'm talking about. Another overtaxed taxpayer. Um, so anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm setting up for a collaboration we're going to do uh, later on today. It's uh, Sunday right now. And, uh, you know, as I was doing that, I was just putting out, you know, some bling, silver and gold and so forth. I, I started to think about my stacking approach uh, in light of, you know, silver and gold prices. Uh, you know, what's been going on in our economy? What's been going on with some um, social unrest? Uh, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? And the, the changes societally that we're seeing. Um, and also, uh, because of what I see many in our stacking community doing with their silver. I, okay, so I'm, I'm probably getting way ahead of myself. So let me, let me backtrack just a bit. Any of you know that I'm a, a prepper stacker, right? And I, I focus on three uh, major things with my stacking. You know, constitutional silver, government minted silver bullion, and gold. It's pretty simple. Stacking the Yankee way. Um, but, you know, earlier this spring, I, I dropped a video, called it uh, I'm Done, basically putting a hold on my silver purchases uh, due to a variety of reasons like oh, uh, availability, uh, nutty premiums, um, an overall sideways trend with the uh, spot price of silver. So I thought, you know, I have time. Let me focus primarily on gold, you know, fractional gold. So I've been you know, stacking a lot of these Canadian maple leaves. And, you know, that's, you know, where my focus has been, you know, trying to build the maple musket, you know, <laughs> just to have some fun. And, you know, while I was putting this together, setting up, I was thinking about that decision and how it fits really well with the way I prep. You know, just look at the thumbnail, all right? And, and I think that demonstrates something quite uh, stark, Okay, and that is at the current silver to gold ratio that we're seeing right now, which is what, around, a, it's close to 100 to 1. Okay, it's gone up a little bit recently. So 99 and change, right? So it's very, really close to 100 to 1. That means 100 of these will get you one of these. All right, silver to gold. You know, I, I'm not a big a GSR guy when it comes to, you know, buying and selling my physical uh, bullion. But anyways, that's for a different video. Um, so I, I look at that and I think about the fact that one tube of one ounce gold American Eagles, my Yankee Cannon, say, that is roughly worth four monster boxes full of American silver eagles, four. That's that's two thousand of these, two thousand to make up a, a tube of uh, gold eagles, two thousand. See, that's compelling for me. All right, and and not from a GSR standpoint. Okay, not not from a a, a silver speculation standpoint, or whether or not it makes any sense that you know a hundred of these will, will will get you one of those. You know? If you're not stacking silver, you are potentially missing out on some insane upside potential. Okay, so I'm not at all saying don't stack silver. I love silver and I stack it, but but think about it. I was, you know, the compactness and convenience of gold, its amazing density of value 
that is, I think, what is so compelling to me. And I, I, I keep coming back to that as I, as I stack. So, you know, one of my tenants of my stacking, actually, uh, side note, I can't wait for that movie Tenant to actually come out. <laughs> if it ever comes out, I can't wait. I want to watch it. But anyways, Tenant, sorry. One of the tenants of my uh, approach has been to have a dense stack. Dense stack. I mean, from a from a, a, a convenience standpoint, a portability standpoint, uh, uh, having it being you know more easily concealable. I, I just think it's a compelling argument to go with gold. It's not the only factor, but it is an amazing factor. Now, I don't live in an urban environment. I'm actually quite blessed and glad that I don't. But even in a suburban area. We could be at risk for social upheaval. Have you not been watching the news? I mean, really, think about it. Uh, the risk is there, no matter where you live. Obviously, less if you're in a, a rural environment. But, but, but as a prepper, not just a, a prepper stacker, but a prepper in general, I'm prepared to go it alone. And also, hopefully, with a small network of, of uh, prepping support. I mean, other people, it's you know, just me and if there's a, you know, a, a SHTF situation. But if the need should arise, I want to be prepared to go it alone, at least for a little while. Now, I don't expect the likelihood of needing to you know, bug out to be very high where I live. Um, but the more I think about it, the more I think that it is you know, a little naive to think that that would be impossible. So again, I plan on bugging in during a crisis, but but if I ever did have to, you know, grab my wealth, you know, physical wealth, I should say, you know, I want to I wanna grab it as easily as possible. I, I actually don't want to have to also grab a two-wheeler to move my silver. So to be honest... I don't have four monster boxes of ASCs like that thumbnail showed. I mean, that was really just to show you a, a stark uh, difference between gold and silver in terms of its its current value. But you know what? I frankly never expect to have four, probably not even two. I, I have one full monster box of American silver eagles, and it's a risk for a hernia when I when I have to pick it up. Okay, so so having a dense stack is a big deal in my opinion and while it probably means i'm never going to have one of those you know kitchen tables you know mounted high for a great you know youtube channel uh, video i should say i'm going to have a manageable stack something i feel that I, I can hide easily and move if i have to i do find silver extremely attractive it's beautiful I mean, really, I love the look of silver, even if it tones some. I know some of you love the toning, but, you know, I'm not too enamored by it to own a, a, you know, a ton of it. Now, that's my opinion. You can disagree with me if you want. It's a free country still. <laughs> and YouTube has a lot of different types of stackers, and I appreciate everyone's uh, perspective on things. But, uh, you know, that, that is my opinion. And, and I, think, I think I've seen a trend in our community towards that. And it reinforces my perspective on having a dense stack. I'm not going to name any names. But many of you have emailed me or talked to me on the phone. And you've expressed a desire to focus less on the silver and more on the gold. To have a dense stack of gold. You've even talked about converting, selling some of your silver to buy gold. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that, by the way, that, that conversion. Frankly, I think if, you really should keep your silver, right, guys? Remember, that's a speculative or more speculative asset than gold. And the upside potential is huge. So be careful. When you say, that's it, I'm going to sell my silver and buy my gold, you, you tend to lose something in that transaction. So, you know, it's not something I really highly recommend. But I love the idea that people are actually doing their own Yankee cannon. 
<laughs> or Maple Musket. There's some amazingly fun names coming out. Again, my lips are sealed. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil it. Let let people, you know announce what they're going to call it but that's fun i think that's great anyways i hope uh, you know you enjoyed this video i hope it sparked some thought and conversation if if you are thinking of refocusing away from silver more to gold if the density of value is something that you find important whether or not you're a prepper let me know. Put it down in the uh, the the comments there. I really want to hear your comments, and I'll reply to every single one of them. And also, by by the way, uh, check out my description of this video of all my uh, videos. Really, I put some really interesting links and and uh, pieces of information in the description of my videos. Well, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking, and I hope your day is a okay. <laughs>